some more. I know a lot of people need it. Yes. That's it. We got a few things to go over today, but most of it we're going to be talking about February the 1st. That's, that's a big question. Yes, it February is. the 1st. But you do your gig and then we'll get her started. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. Days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Instead of telling you about an affordable communication service that will save you money for a rainy day, I'm going to let one of my clients from Columbia Dental Group tell you all about Host My Services. You're not losing any service, your phone calls, you don't drop any calls, have any issues at all. They have the app where if you have an off-site person, they just have the app on their phone, they can use it from there. Like you should definitely get a quote because even buying a whole new phone system is cheaper than what you're going to pay for with Verizon or AT&T or anybody else through them. I and the quality is just the customer service. Customer service, I talk to him. There's two things to remember when checking out Host My Communication Services. Number one is free analysis of your current communication cost. Number two is there's no capital outlay for the equipment. Two great reasons to call 931-581-4411 today and start saving for that rainy day. People in Tennessee are starting a movement. Out. Thank you. To clean up the litter on our roadways. Litter hurts our environment and endangers wildlife, and it affects our quality of life. Here, cut me. Thank you. Help keep our state litter free. Let's roll. Visit nobodytrashestennessee.com and be a part of the solution to end littering. Saving the best for last. That's right. Nobody trashes Tennessee. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, welcome back. I want to remind everybody, uh, next week, we have the United Horse Show. Now, this is going to be held in Tunica, Mississippi, the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Uh, we got Bill Cantrell, Rod Slagle, and Link Webb's going to do the judging. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Me, that, me too. That, that, that's three different age groups just yeah. about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we get something done. I, I tell you, Jerry, everybody's been talking about the uh, the lawsuits and everything. Here's something everybody better be, no matter what, 
What about February the 1st? Yes. What are we going to do? What's the plan? Where are we going to go? You cannot file an injunction until you got something to file an injunction against. But still, it's the February the 1st is what I'm worried about. And I tell you what, I'm going to give everybody a minute to think about that because we've got a special at Samstown. You can get a room for $39 Wednesday night and Thursday night, $79 Friday night, $89 Saturday night, and the code is 24 horse, and this is the last time that they would, that will be shown because I've been told that they're running a little over. <laughs> so we, we don't want to, I, I don't want to put too much pressure on them, oh, but yeah. I appreciate their prizes, I truly do. I also want to remind everybody that we've got limited items of Richard's jewelry left. And uh, I got off phone this morning with a gentleman that he put, he wanted to bid on several different items, so he just sent me a whole list to go by. And uh, I'll see how many items he wants to buy. But this will be the last of it. That's some real good jury. I tell you, and Richard's been around for a long time. I tell you what, I, I, I cannot put into words how much I miss Richard and Carol. Yes. Carol was, Carol and I were friends for, well, ever since 1970. And uh, I met her when I first come back from uh, the military. And we remain friends and, and uh, that, that's how I met Richard. I tell you, I remember them selling that jewelry down there in Baton Rouge at the Dixie Jubilee down yep. there every year when I was a little kid, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, they used to set up over at, at Ray Beach's across from Celebration uh -huh. Grounds. And uh, Richard called and said, Jerry, I need some help. Come over here and help me. I'd go over and help. Uh, we'd do a lot of different things. Richard yes. was, he was, he was one of, he and I were in business together. Okay. You know, we had a, a I used to do hair, so he and I built a beauty salon over here mm -hmm. that we called Total Hair Experience. And he and I were partners for several years until I bought him out. And uh, then later on, I, I just closed it because I, I, I started doing all the other stuff and uh, got married and I decided this is too much. So, yeah. But it was, we did that for years. Carol and I were friends right up until she passed away. This, this, a lot of people are, are not really grasping this uh, deal on February the 1st, but I'm gonna read this to you, and this is out of the, exactly what was released by the USDA concerning the Horse Protection Act. The HPA prohibits against horses participating in shows, exhibitions, sales, and auctions extends to events involving all horse breeds, all horse breeds. For years, it was only used at the walking horse shows. All breeds were supposed to be inspecting their horses and turning all this information into the USDA. Other breeds did not do it. They just if they put a horse on suspension, they just kept it quiet. And now they come out with this new rule, and the, from what I'm being told, the um, American Horse Association are, are wanting to, United Horse Association, whatever they're called, they're wanting to eliminate other breeds and it just be used for the Tennessee walking horse, but they've already proven that they can't be trusted because for 50 years they didn't even turn in their results. Yeah, you're right. And we know, and I've, I've had this conversation with a gentleman that's in the saddlebred industry, we know them saddlebreds ain't gonna have no part of people palpating them and checking them and stuff, they ain't gonna stand there for it. So what are they gonna do? They cannot say that this hurts that horse, but it doesn't hurt this horse. If the action device and the boots or the shoes hurts a walking horse, 
it will hurt every other breed that has pads on. Yes. That's it. I mean, this is what we argue about all the time. And people just don't get it that February the 1st, no matter how these lawsuits go, we still got February the 1st to deal with. Yes. We have to, we have to address that. And it's going to have to be addressed after these lawsuits. And I, I admire the people that are fighting it now, I do, because it's, it just gets more and more in depth on what's happening. And, but a lot of people don't, I don't think they really understand that even if we win, and, I'm, and I feel like we will win these lawsuits, but then what do we do February the 1st? What's the game plan? What would you say? Jerry, big I'm going to tell you, it's a big question. That's a hard, that's a hard thing to answer right there. Well, they, they're doing all of this, and here we are. We're looking at a future that will devastate the walking horse industry. Yes. And they, they're not looking at the collateral damage. I'm, I've been going and in, in researching other breeds and and what their economic impact is on the United States. And if they do this, it has to be across the board. It can't be just for the walking horse. But the impact of all the businesses, not to mention the charities, but the, like your barn, there's you, Amber, Brad, yeah, Jimmy Don. Jim Don. Yeah. And, and Dave, when he yeah. comes in, can get there. All of them come and work. They come and work. And, um, and I mean, it, this, this is going to hurt a lot of families and stuff like that because a lot of people, you know, all the horse trainers in here got families. Yeah. And it, I mean, and they depend on this stuff to, to make a living. Bedford Tag. I mean, war trays at the museum. I mean, you got a lot of people that comes in here to see this horse. And bought places in Chevyville, that feed store right there. I mean, well, your restaurants, your restaurants. I mean, it just people need to pay, people need to pay attention to what is happening because it's fixing to affect everybody. This horse is is a valuable asset to Tennessee. Yes, and but. The battle is, we're fighting a battle that, that you've got the, the lawsuits that we're involved in now, and then as soon as that's over with, you've got to have to go up here and look at what's going on February the 1st. Yep. But you, know, you look at the, the, the schools they didn't build because of all the people who have moved into this place. That's right. And stuff like that. You know, when, when you do some of this horse business, I mean, it's gonna help the schools too. All these buildings, all this money they put in. Tax dollars. Yeah, all this money they put in these schools. I mean, when you put everybody in one school, what you gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what's fixing to happen. If if they destroy the walking horse industry, it's gonna be it. Bedford County is gonna devastate the surrounding counties. It is too, but it's gonna affect other cities, other states because of the manufacturing. We, we've got so many different items that is used in the equine industry that is made in other states. And it goes right down the line that here, here's your leather is used for your saddles, for your bridles, your halters and all this. That goes away. And, and you just keep depleting, depleting, depleting till you, you cause a economic crisis yes. across the board. And that, the USDA is not considering it. The Humane Society surely ain't, because they could care less. They, they just want to get out there and tell people, this is what we're doing, we're helping this, and they're not helping anything. They're really hurting. That's oh, they, a fact. They they're really... hurting a lot more than they're helping. And you can take the kids that's in this horse business, raised up in this horse business, they stay out of trouble a lot more than all other kids and don't have nothing else to do. You got that right. I mean, you got that 100% right. Something that everybody needs to think about. That's right. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to East Tennessee, watch a few victory passes, and I want to thank Bob Roach again, because Bob helps. Anytime I came to go to a show, we can't make it. He helps me out. Joe Pa and Shane Porterfield, your 
Amateur Gentleman winner. Tell you what, that's, that's a good horse. That is a real good horse. That's a, that horse had to get better and better every time you see him in the show ring. I talked to Shane at the horse show this weekend. And he said he asked his kids, his grandkids, for permission to show one of their horses. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> he, he said, you know, y'all been showing him all year long. Y'all let me show him once. <laughs> He's a lucky strike in Arbery Derrickson. I tell you what, this young lady is making a name for herself. She is. And her grandfather, Ralph Derrickson, is mighty proud of her. That's a nice horse. That young lady can, can really ride a horse. She sets, she sets a good saddle. She sets now. a real she good really saddle. Does. Gets it done. She has stepped up in that older division now, and <laughs> she, this is good. And she in that division, was she in that juvenile class? She ain't looking back either. No, either. she's not. Expectation horse. Yes. That young lady right there is a real good rider too. I mean, she's. I tell you what, she works at it. She works yeah, at she it hard. She loves them horses. And there's the Hoss and Ali Joe Jacobs. Hey, what? That's a heck of a pony right there, buddy. I was talking to a gentleman this morning about watching the gait of her horse, and I told him, I said, I'm telling you, when I watch and I say, see, see how smooth she is in that saddle? She ain't a bouncing up and down, no. jumping up and down. That smooth gated horse there, and getting it done. Well, that horse, she ain't tired when she get off that horse. All the other breed of horses, you are just as tired as the horse when you get off. Yeah. Well, she get out there and run football, play football yep. afterwards. And right there is I Sing Dixie. R.M. Kelly and Allie Joe showed this one. Now see how smooth they are? Y'all want to watch a Tennessee walk horse? Go watch one. I wish that they would have a water class. Yes. With a, with a regular class. That tells the story there, buddy. And there's the Hoss again, won the 11 under after winning the pony, showing twice at one shot. Yeah. They had over 500 entries up there. That's a good, good deal right there. That's a good horse. As again, what we was talking about earlier, that little girl right there is showing that horse and having fun, and she ain't doing nothing else. But, That's it. You know, she, she's at a horse show. She's at a horse show. One. That's right. I talked to her dad yesterday, and he said, "Yep, I said we're going to be in Tunica too. <laughs> that, that's going to be good because I'm looking forward to Tunica myself." All right, here we go. We're going to the Fall Classic, and I'm going to tell you, a lot of things went on at the Fall Classic this year, and uh, I just. The horses, 534 entries with a 97% compliance rate. Yes. Now that's the trainers doing their job, the inspectors doing their Good job. job. That's right. And that's all you can say. We had a costume class, and I love this one right here. <laughs> and it was the winner. That very creative. <laughs> hey. There's something else now. <laughs> Had that horse dressed up like an elf. <laughs> that secret service with them. <laughs> I don't think that horse likes that note. But the Secret Service, no, did now that that. Well, now, you know, as again, you look at them little kids, now they having fun. Oh, I mean, they're, they're having a ball. They're having a good time. Look at this bunch. Yep. That's what it's all about, them kids and horses. That's you it. Know. Mm. 
People don't realize it, but these horse, when you go to a horse show, you look around, there's kids everywhere. Yes. They're all over the place. Another thing, they're running all, everywhere because there's about 200 babysitters there at all times. That's right. Now there's a whole lot more people there, but you can look around and just the people that have brought horses, the people that train horses, they're constantly watching these kids and keeping them out of trouble. Well, the thing of it is, you go to them horse shows like there, and like I got a grandson that will this when we go in that show and we turn him loose, and he go, everybody know who his parents are, or who his grandparents are, and they keep an eye on him, and That's you just, and you don't have to worry about watching them because they're in a safe, good place right there. Amy Lee Marks' mother used to take them to a horse show, turn them loose, and she'd say, now at the last class, y'all come to the car. Yes. And that's the way it was. I can remember growing up, when I, I would walk, 10 years old, I'd walk over there and watch the horses. Yep. yep. Nobody I, ever worried about anybody. You're out there with equine people. That's the same way it was when I was growing up. My dad say, when, he used to tell when that state class go in, be back at the truck. <laughs> you better be at the truck, buddy. Yep. And that's when that state class go in, we went right onto the truck there. <laughs> but I mean, that's a, a good class. Jerry, I'll tell you what, my little grandkids been hanging out at the barn here lately. Oh yeah. And I can tell since they've been around the horses and been around things, they didn't grew up and matured so much from the first time they come there until now. I oh, mean, man. they they know how to get away from the, get back from the horses. They go and brush on the horses and I mean, they enjoy it and they want my biscuits to feed them. I just found that out. Mm -hmm. Once they found out that's what I did with those biscuits, every time I start, they come out there, they want to do it. Do it, that's right. But I mean, that's teaching them. That's teaching that kid from a little one how to well, be yeah. around stuff. You take that little white horse right there, they show that horse in the saddle and is it, you know. I'm not sure which horse that one is. He's decked out though. But now he's a broke, easy, love, you know. Yeah, I mean that. And having fun. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Enjoying yourself and having a good time. And you know, you take these kids and both, both that, that one and the other one. I mean, here, 20 years ago, 20 years from now, they can look back at that video that's and it. they can watch themselves when they was doing this right here. They'll say, man, we had a good time there. That's right. And they remember that. Oh, yeah. All right. Amateur owned and trained specialty. This little horse made a good show. Hey, that's Shane Porterfield. And, and I'm telling you, he, he did. He, Shane is a super good guy. Yes. Now, he really is. But now his grandkids normally show Jack Ryan, but that night he said he talked to him and letting him. Yeah. So Shane Porterfield took the blue on Jack Ryan for Harper Lawrence, and I'm a pistol ante and Blake Kamek was reserved. You know, that was a good two-horse class. That was a good two-horse yeah, I mean, class. Both of them horses were real nice. That, that, that. that class right there, now, this is amateur-owned and trained. That wasn't a testament of the horses that yeah. was there. Because we had classes with 20 in it, 18, 15. I mean, you name it, and, and we had the classes. You know, this class right here is a real good class to it have is. because these people here have a regular job that they can go through all week long. And, then and they as they enjoy they say, this is they off time is playing with these horses and having fun with them. That's it. You know. A lot of people do that. And that that's how the walking horse industry got started. Oh yes, that's right. There he is, Jake Ryan and Shane Porterfield for Harper Lawrence. Real yeah. nice horse. Amateur owned and trained specialty. These horse shows used to be for bragging rights. Yes. <laughs> they, they'd work them horses all week in the field and then take them and ride them on the weekend. 
Shane was a happy character with that oh, horse right there. Hey, he was. And it's, he, it's he so was. good with him is because he trained that horse himself. I know. I was tickled with him because he yeah. was he was all smiles. All smiles oh, yes, when I was. talked to him. I tell you, he really enjoyed himself. Well, you do your thing and we'll go on with some more video. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Giles Dunn is a leader in both cultured and lab-grown diamonds. Located at 234 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee, Giles Dunn is well known for his beautifully designed jewelry. From that special diamond for your special wedding day to the one that says I love you more, Giles Dunn is the place to shop if you want to say it with diamonds. Open five days a week and always ready to assist you in that one in a lifetime purchase. To set an appointment for cultured or lab-grown diamond viewing, call 931-563-7800. Hey Tennessee, Ross Chastain here, the guy who likes to smash watermelons on the front stretch at Nashville Super Speedway. But you know what I never smash? Safety rules. Racing's all about control, and the same goes for life on the road. So use your melon and don't mix drinking and driving. It's like trying to race with a busted engine. Be a pit crew hero. And if you've had a few, pass the keys to a sober friend because we're all racing toward a safer Tennessee and we want you there at the finish line. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, welcome back. I'll tell you what, Bob Adcock. <laughs> Bob, you look up and here he comes. He he has got a stable full of good horses. Oh, he got a bunch of good horses. And he he's always got this smile on his face. Yep. He just gets out there and goes to it and says, "Hey, have at it. I'm I'm just ha happy to be here." So let's get started with the second night. I got to spend all. Tuesday morning with Bob over there. Well, we, Monday morning with Bob. I think my sheets are screwed up. I tell you, this this is a good. This was a good class right here. Yep, this is youth ponies. Yes. Ponies had Switchblade and Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue. I'm March Madness, which that little man made a heck of a show, right yes. or right? Time to honor Riley Nichols. Straight up Southern. Ricky Parker. Levi Parker was riding. Some real nice horses at that horse show. Yeah, they did. Some real nice horses. They had a, a heck of a show. I tell you what, them classes were packed. The yeah, horses were good. were good. You couldn't ask for anything better. Nope, you couldn't. Oh, you really couldn't. There she is. I thought she made an outstanding show. She did show. make a good show. There she is, Switchblade. 
and Allie Jo Jacobs took the blue. She's riding fool out oh, of that yes, horse. Oh, yes, she is. You know, every time she rides him, she gets better and better. Yes. Right here's your amateur 50 and over. I believe some of these ladies sometimes lie to get in that class. I think they'll take advantage of an older man. So we'll, we'll show him. Honored in Texas, and Bob Adcock took the blue in this class. The Night King and Jeff Smith was reserved. Mark One and Molly Walters. Boy, I love that horse. Was third. An executive privilege, Ben Moss. Nino's Category 5, Frank, Frank Mosley. I am Gunsmoke, Mark McWaters, in my honor him. Robin Webb finished out the ribbons. I that honored in Texas is a good thing, a yeah. good horse, but I love that horse right there too. Mark one, yeah. good horse. Bob have a bunch of good horses now, oh, I tell yeah. you. Me and him, like I say, it was on Wednesday, I thought it was Monday, but Wednesday, we sat there and talked, and he kind of was telling me a little life story about the horses, and I mm -hmm. tell you, it's, he'd been in it a he'd long been in time. for a long time. I mean, he's a real, real sharp guy. Well, he's a super good dude now, there's no yeah, doubt about is. it. He does a lot. He loved these horses, too. That Mark 1 is a real nice horse. I like him. He's very consistent. I'll tell you what, he, he just, he's a bold going horse. Yes. That's what I like so much about him. Right there. That's a good one. He's real good right there. Hey, that horse, that, that class right there was full of good ones. Oh, yeah, they have a bunch of good horses in there. I believe on, on Bob there, you, know, you put the saddle and bridle on, he gonna ride it. Oh yeah, that Night King's a good horse. Yeah. There's a bunch of good horses in there. They did have a bunch of good horses. These classes right here, the classes that you like to win when you have a bunch of good horses in there. That, that's when, that's when, that's when you, you feel leave. like you, yeah, that's right. Feel like you've really done something. Done something. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock to the blue. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock. I hit it, stepping, reaching, yep. walking off his butt. A good one. He is. He was telling me his dad was a horse trainer. Yeah, sure mm -hmm. was. Right here's your amateur 15, 2 and under. see them horses and you see multi horses in that class going around through there they be doing a good job 
I thought Debbie made an excellent show in that mm -hmm. class. I just, it upsets me when I see her make a great show that she does and get treated like she does. Patrick Mahomes won this class with, with Paul Simmons, great horse. Yeah. A kingpin, Bob Adcock was reserved, Georgia High Honors, Sandy Shoemate. Pro V1, Ben Kale. Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine. My Major Ordeal, Debbie Eichler, Jens with Bart McWaters and Cash, Bold and Fresh. Finished out the ribbon. Right there's a kingpin in Bob Adcock. Nice horse. Great horse. I thought Debbie Eichler should have been up there too. That major ordeal is one good horse. Yes. But Bob, now Bob, Bob's got a string of good horses. Oh, he do got a bunch Man, of good horses. He really horses. does. He really does. Look at that horse, that dog. Right here is something special. Right there, you got Eli and Ridge. Eli got his horse taken away from him by Ridge, but I think he really gave it to him. Yeah. But now here he is, he's warming the horse up. I found out that Tyler warmed up Kayla's horse when she <laughs> first showed. And here goes Ridge Cunningham, first time ever, ever. In a show That's ring. That's a nice hole. That little boy he done. Hey, I thought he he did outstanding. Yes. I really thought he did outstanding. I tell you, Mr. Wilson is proud of his grandkids now. You better believe it. He buddy. loves his grandkids. He told me, he said, I just tickled he made it in. And yeah. right here is Eli in the show pleasure class. He didn't take a bath in. I'm no. gonna tell you. That's a heck of a show pleasure horse. Oh he's yeah. Got. I mean he he put on a show. And they bought that from somebody I know. Yeah, that guy, you know, I, he'd been around a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you use 11 under now. This is the one that that Little Ridge was in. Cole Hahn took the blue with Ali Joe Jacobs. G-Ride, Gracie Collinger was reserved. And the medalist in Ridge Cunningham in his first show ever was third, Southern Attitude, Levi Parker. I'm Shady, Bentley Baum. I'm, I'm really impressed with Bentley now. He's doing yeah. good. I'm just kidding, Wyatt Puckett. And I'm a mastermind, Wilder Way. That Wilder, he, he's getting out there. I watched him, he is. was out there playing football and everything with them the other night. Cole Hahn and Ali Joe, look at her. Get it done, can't she? Yep, she can. Some good horses. It is some good horses in there. I was I was just proud of Wild. I talked to Jake. I told him I said got some new competition now. Yeah. He said, yes, she does. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I saw where Guido uh, was reserved in the state class. Okay. I believe it was reserved. He may have won it on, on James's pony. Uh huh. There she is, Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. To the blue. That young lady just loves to ride. Oh, yeah, she loves to ride. She's. This is another one we get to watch her grow up. Yep.
a good horse right there. It is buddy. a good horse. Right here's your amateur three-year-old stallion. This class was packed. No doubt I am. Bob Badcock took the blue. Jose Cruz, Shannon Har was reserved. I won't choose Sister Milligan. NRA's Red Rider, David Sisk. Java, Nathan Oliver. And 2ML, Maggie Moore. Finished out the ribbons in this class. There was six good ones. Yep. This was a good class. Yeah, wait a minute. Tar Heels High Tone, Jose's Michael Mosteller was sixth. Big Charlie, Brian Reese, and Limbo, Janie Chapman finished out the ribbons. My pages are screwed up. Should have checked them out before I started. It'd been a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? Well, everybody ain't perfect. Everybody make a mistake every once in a while, Jerry. Even me. That's right. Even you. You make a mistake every once in a while. Thanks, Jerry. But the I biggest thing it. of it is, you a big enough man to say when you do make a mistake. That's that's what I like about you. Hey, <laughs> hey there ain't no sense in dodging the bullet, that's buddy. That's right. That's what I like about you. You screw up and say, yep, I did it. Yep. That's why, that's why I fuss about them football players when they screw up. They don't ever get out there and point their self and beat on their chest. Yeah, that's right. But if they do something good, but they beat on their chest. Yep. There's Brian. Yeah, that's a nice horse right there. Yeah. Too. i tell you what, this thing was full of some good full horses. Full of good horses. I mean, real good. You know, you had some of these classes, the horses went out without a ribbon that was a real good horse. They hey, couldn't the top. I mean, that's it. A... i tell you what, we, we, but you got to realize there's 534 horses. We had 14 pre-show and one post-show. So those, those were violations. They, and they were for everything from... The, the, so some of these, I, when, when you find them out, I, I really don't agree with them. Yeah. I mean, but it is what it is. I tell you what this show did for them three judges that was out there judging. That made them really realize do they really want to do this because they had a lot of horses in there and they had to make a decision. And I guarantee you it was hard for them. Oh, yeah. To do it. A well, lot I remember of one year I watched one guy, he got sick because he was devastated when he got in there. Here he is, no doubt I am, and Bob Adcock. Well, Bob, there is no doubt you yeah. am. <laughs> Amateur three-year-old stallion winner. Bob Adcock makes the That's a nice looking portion. You know, at this show, if you think about it, you had one judge that was experienced and the other two was just kind of new at it. Yep. Leah been around, she didn't judge oh, yeah. a pretty good time, and the other two is kind of new at the judging part of it. And I mean, they've done a good job to say, you know. They found out what the deep water was like. That's right. That's for sure. Amateur mares and gildings. This, I'm going to tell you, this class right here, it separates the men from the boys quick. Mm-hmm. You got two mares in there that are just fantastic. My honeybee took the blue with Taylor Walters for the Molly Walters family. Quite an honor. Beth Beasley or Beth Beasley. Yeah. Old Rocky Top, Lily Ridley, Alan Ridley family. I am bold and spicy. Lindsay Hess Price for Connie Hess. Harley Quinn, best Colin Stowater. Made to honor, Lisa Baum, Wager, Karen Inman, and Big Bertha, Courtney Tyra, finished out the ribbon. But now you're talking about some good ones. Some good horses in there. That's right. When you talk about leaving without a ribbon, yep. what's the mare that they call her Scarbilly? She's a deal mare that Debbie Eichler's on. 
a walking piece of work. And she left without a ribbon. So there was horses in there, good horses. That quite an honor mare is a real good it mare. Is. I am a honeybee fan though. That, my honeybee is just gets it done. She really does. I mean, he has some real good horses in that class. Tell me about it. But your top two are mares. Look at there. Yeah. That's a good mare right that there. Is a good mare. But here's my honeybee and Taylor Walters. And buddy, that's the team right there. Yeah. That, I don't know what it is. Molly seems to be able to find these mares, these real good ones. Your mares and gilded. My honeybee. I like that. Yep. I really do. They do too. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I know. I, 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 Molly said, and honeybee, duh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh, yep, we got to take another break, buddy. That'll You're work. up. We'll be right back after these messages. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old, whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse, coming up. Well, unless I have really got out of whack, we are going to go watch some uh, three-year-old stallions. And, buddy, that, that was a tough, that, that, was, was, a, that was a heck of a class. Yes. I mean, there was a lot of talent in there. Three-year-old stay and Wilhelm. Dan Waddell took the blue from Missy Johnson. Eight miles, Casey Wright for Darrell Oliver. Straight Republican, Tyler Balkum for Kelly Manis. Powerball, Lake Weaver for Karen Bean. Jen's Mr. Black, Chad Way, Jimmy Reese. Limbo, Jeff Lachlan for Danny Chapman. Charlie's my papa, Drew Grays for Terry Vault. And Herschel 34, Winky Groover for Thomas White. But I, I, I really like this Wilhelm. He's, yeah. He is named after a legendary breeder, buddy. Mm -hmm. And he can flat get it done. I know Missy is in there. Her husband are tickled to death with him.
Not to say Dan. Yeah. I'm gonna say, you know, and I, I might be wrong. And this is my opinion. I have been wrong before. No but this, kidding. This, this really? is about one of the best shows it's been in a, in a long time. Here, now, the quality they, of horses. I'm talking about here in town. Yeah. yeah, they had a good one up there in East Tennessee, yeah. and then come back and have this one. Yep. Yeah. I'm talking about just the quality of horses in the ring at one time. Right. Well, and here's another thing, and I'm going to say this. This is another example of why we do not need the overreach of USDA. We had this quality of horses in the ring. The inspectors did their job. Yes. They found horses that were out, some of them different things, and have found one post show. But in the ring, I did not see anything in the ring that I thought was real bad image. Now, you gotta take into consideration horses in the ring, they get in there and they sometimes get to acting silly. Yes. Here's Wilhelm and Dan Waddell from Missy Johnson, your three-year-old stallion winner. Look at that is a walk-in booger. That's a nice horse, real nice horse. Super nice. But he's got a doll, doesn't he? Good deal, Dan. Looking good. Real good. And here you debate. Two-year-old mares and gildings. This one right here is the one that I, I really like. I really like it. I like the mare that won this class. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Lord, yeah. Jose's Limitless and Sam Martin for Molly Walter's family took the blue. Honor Girl and Todd Claiborne for Carl Smith. Yes, unbelievable, Jeff Lachlan, Yellowstone Farm. Ready for shade, Dan Waddell for Missy and Tim Johnson. Zaro's Princess, Bobby Hugh for Terry Smith. Grace and Honor, Jerry Beatty for Kathy Stewart. Black Jen's Finale, Chad Wave, Jim Flack. And Splash of Honor, Brad Beer for Marty Haynes. I tell you a horse I really liked in this class right here. Yeah. Is a little mare that Bobby Hughes showed in here. Yeah, she's a nice little mare. She's a nice yeah. little mare. I mean, she. Like Dave. And that mare that won now, she was in the She stood bicep. out. Yeah, she stood out. I mean, from she. From the time she come in to the time she went out. You look I mean, up she, and she yeah. got your attention. attention. You said, yeah. what is that? She's, she's a nice mare. That's what I told Molly. I said, I don't know what it is about you, lady, but you've got a way of picking these mares. Yeah. And I'll I tell you what I really liked about her, to me. It reminded me of she's limited. Limited, yeah. Mm hmm You just had that walk about her. And I know Sam had to be terrible. Yeah. <clears throat> but I can tell you this, when, when judging out there and you can see that it's easy to tie first and the biggest thing this class here was horses first time ever been in the show ring that's it this was their first time in there yeah nice little purse went with that too yes
But I mean, but that whole little that little marriage Sam showed now was I'm telling you, she was she was right. She was exceptional, no doubt about it. Very exceptional. Yes. There she is. Jose's limitless and Sam Martin from Bolly Walter. Tell you what, it just looks the way that mare yes. goes. Just got that walk about her. Everything's easy, yeah. fluent, going forward, very smooth. I mean, it's, it's real nice. That's easy to tie. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it don't take much. When you see that, you can say when she comes in, but if she don't mess up. You can see this mare as an age mare. She's yeah. sitting there doing that same smooth gait, easy going. Just, just perfection. That's all the yeah. way that, I mean, it really is. It, it, it's just that good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not sure how much time we got, but I want to remind everybody that we've got the Tunica Horse Show come up. Uh, if y'all can't go, but you want someone to lose your money for you, I'm available. <laughs> That's what Jimmy used to say. Do not pay him while we're down there. <laughs> I went down there one year and, and did uh, videos because nobody was videoing him. But I said, everybody has to pay me, you know, while yeah. we're here. So they'd give me 50 bucks to do the video and I'd keep up with it. And when I got back, I gave them all their video, but I lost every one of them. <laughs> I had to write Jimmy a check. I told him, I said, Jimmy, this hurts. Oh, you know, yeah. I, said, I, I don't like having to write this check because Tunica still got that money. <laughs> I'm up here by myself. I just want to tell everybody, I, I really appreciate everybody that's advertise with us and, and all the people that watch it. I mean, I get a lot of people when I walk by they and like stuff like it. that, they, they really like the show and stuff like that. And <clears throat> I, want, I want to say something, right? I want to get everybody to pray for Greg Bryant. Yeah. He's in the hospital and he, he in case y'all don't know who he is, he's the one that takes, <laughs> you always see him with the Beasley twins. Uh, they had to take him to the hospital Friday night. He's in Shelbyville. Pray for him because he's a he's a super good guy, and uh, he really thanks a lot of them girls. Yes, he does. I, I talked to Beth. She said he's they're taking great care of him, but he he's it's it's serious. And I want to thank everybody that helped helped you out. Too. I really appreciate it too. And, I really and, do. Uh, I found out that the fundraiser they did this weekend for Trimble. Uh huh. They they raised over twenty thousand dollars. That's a good deal. Hey, that that is good because from what I'm hearing, it's it's going to be down at doing therapy and stuff for quite a while. Yes. So that that's a good deal. I'll remind everybody we will see you again next week, but then we will be in tune. Be safe. And good Take luck. it easy. <laughs>